ministre. The parliament, parliament is frozen because there's another ethical problem with the prime minister. And he has apologized again, but we'll come back to that after. All of his ministers, or rather, it seems that he is not very responsible in the finance minister. I think that the ethics commissioner will have to look at that as well. Regardless of political bravado, it's not time to launch an election or and perhaps one of the parties would vote in favor of the government doing so, but it's probably not the time to do so. It's not the time to send 22 Canadians or Quebecers to the ballot. So we need to do what we can. Public health, public health and the economy are too fragile right now. So we need to find a way to work with what we have as a government at the time, right now. So when I started reflecting about this last week, I thought we should ask the Prime Minister to have a light bulb moment, to understand what it means to be responsible, to take a step aside for a moment and allow the Deputy Prime Minister, who has her own faults, but she's less problematic. And in the past, in aluminum, we have seen that she has been a very valuable asset for Quebec, so we could work with her and continue managing this crisis and matters of the state. And so, in the spirit of all this, I would invite the government and the Deputy PM to consider opening a certain number of files that are extremely important in people's daily lives. For example, the $14 billion transfers to Quebec and the other provinces, this adds to the $1.5 billion that Quebec needs, and it's definitely needed. And we need somebody to do so, and we need to work with somebody who is not thinking about saving his own career instead of looking at the public good. We need to fight fraud to incentivize work. I don't think the Deputy Prime Minister appreciated that we wouldn't be focusing on that. And then there was also people with disabilities. These people still need assistance, and it's very urgent. 50 weeks for employment insurance for people who are sick. We talked about this in the past few days. For Emily, unfortunately, her health has not gotten better. She asked that the Prime Minister keep his word. He was nice because he was in front of her, but... And modifications to the wage subsidy and the CERB for seasonal workers, for artists. There are still problems with these programs. Support for Quebec programs on aerospace and transportation. And we can talk about the assistance to Air Canada, who still refuses to refund tickets. More than 80% of people think that Air Canada should refund people who can't use their tickets. For the North Coast, there won't be any service, there won't be any refund. So you can't even use your ticket to buy another one later. And then also C-17 regarding justice. These are all things that can be solved quickly and it would be in the interest of Canadians and Quebecers. And so the Bloc will be cooperating with the government and the Deputy PM so that we can evaluate these measures and we can make adjustments. We will also support the Conservatives' request to 
have Mr. Trudeau and perhaps Mr. Morneau testify because as soon as we understand what happened, the sooner we'll be able to get Canada back on its feet. We're not looking for a police and or we can't get a police investigation as we can order a pizza. We don't have this authority. We all showed enthusiasm for this, but we can't order for this. If there's a plain, uh, complaint, well, then it's the it's up to the police to decide whether or not to investigate. They're already perhaps looking at it, but to say that, well, we require, we demand an inquiry into the RCMP, well, we can't do that. So that said, on initiatives that could help us do better, I completely agree. So in the coming days, and I've been traveling through regions in Quebec, and it is so interesting to go travel Quebec. I was in Charlevoix, I went to the Gaspé, and I've been to, of course, my riding, South Shore, Chambly. I'll go to the Rivière de Mille this weekend. And it is so nice to see Quebecers seeing each other. But we need to come back with a robust, solid, and viable plan for the fall. And in order to do so, the government needs to work. And we'll see after that how long we'll let it work for. Question from Raymond Filion. Hello, Mr. Blanchet. So you and the Conservatives would like the Trudeau government to testify regarding the WE charity. Can he refuse? And what would it mean if he refused to testify at a committee? Answer. I'm not sure. I assume that it's binding, but I can't confirm this. And what would it show if he refused? Well, it shows that he doesn't want to shed light on this concerning situation. The Prime Minister of Canada is putting himself in a situation, and we know for this person there is no distinction ethically between his family and a charity. So the Prime Minister, in a way, took money to give it to his family and then gave a $19 million dollar $19 billion program to a charity, they would have been responsible for $912 million. And we charity hired and fired many people. When did they know that they were going to get a contract? Probably before June 25th. This contract doesn't look good. And it shows, and I can't judge, that there's a significant conflict of interest here. And this is not the first time that the Prime Minister has put himself in a delicate situation. And of course, he's apologized. I have the list of apologies and there are so many. But at the end, there's none for Louis Riel or for the Acadians or for Quebecers that were imprisoned in the 70s. His Apologies are very selective. And the Prime Minister has been quite clear. He was asked this question yesterday that he's not going to do this. So if he's not going to step down like you're calling him to do, how can you continue to support the government? I rather ask him to step aside and not step down yet. Um, I believe that now his attention is much more on his personal situation as a jeopardized Prime Minister than about helping and taking care of Canadians and Quebecers. That by itself is a good reason for him to step aside. And if he does step aside, we have had dealings with the Deputy Prime Minister in the last weeks and months, and I haven't spoken to her in the last few days for obvious reasons, but things went rather well back then. So I think this is the thing to be done. I do not believe, I don't know for Canadians, but I don't believe in this might be checked out, but I do not believe that Quebecers want 
in the middle of a, a crisis, when we are trying to get out of a crisis while the rest of the world is getting deeper in it, uh, I don't believe, and they do not believe, I think, that it's, the, it's a good time to go into elections. This shall come rather rapidly than late, but not immediately. In the meantime, something must be done for the, the affairs of the state to be managed adequately. So we ask him to be responsible, step aside. We will not be satisfied with his uh, uh, apologies again. He has done so much of it that is, it has become worthless. So this is why we propose that he does a step aside.